so in today's video we are going to discuss about the diffraction due to narrow slit or you can say that as a single slit experiment okay so today we are going to discuss about single slit experiment what is single slit experiment for example we are having the monochromatic light light which is having the same energy same frequency same wavelength okay for example we are having this rays okay so <clears throat> this is a distance which is d and these are the rays okay so these rays are after the diffraction is what the light getting banned is called diffraction so here the light is there and it will got banned it will got banned which means diffraction occur okay so so the converging of the light into the single light where we have used a lens here that is a convex lens which is a converging lens okay and these the the ray, light base it basically converts the light and to see the light we have put it a slit not slit but the screen yeah we have put it a screen to see the in pattern pattern which is interference pattern okay to see the pattern and here we are having the slit okay slit so here we have put it the the spacing as you guys all know the spacing which is like for example uh, for example this is a ray and here we are having a slit which means the, the spacing will the spacing will be equal to the ray wavelength then the diffraction will be occurred so that's why we have put it a slit which is having the same spacing as the wavelength so we have put it a name as a, a and b which means the part difference between a and b <coughs> so here we have taken what one two three okay um not one one two three four five six and seven for example i'm having seven rays so <coughs> if i talk about the phases for example one five okay two six three seven okay which means the phase are same for example this is a wave crust crust trough trough crust crust so here you can see that these are same which means phases are same that's why we have taken one five one and five two and six three and seven like that okay so consider one and five only okay one which means here we are having a space one and five so we can put a line here one and five okay and here you can see that we are having the a b here we are having the a b so distance is whole and we have talking about the half so we can write it d upon two which means at five we are talking about so that will be the half d upon two okay and here we, we here you can see that the part difference is there the angle is here so we can write it a b because of the part difference okay d upon 2 okay so <clears throat> we can write here that d upon 2 is what d upon 2 is a half middle half half distance so i am making an angle here you can see that which is like that okay so you can see that AB, AB, and here we are having what? We are having the base, and here this is what D upon 2, right? So angle is there. Okay, first thing, the diffraction is only based on the destructive. Why? Because of the phase changes. Let's see how. So here we can, if we can write here the part difference we are having, that is the a b okay part difference is what part difference is a and b 
so we can write here a b and here we are in the half okay so here you can see that we are having what <coughs> the part difference we are having what a b so this angle is like we can use sine theta because of the perpendicular and hypotenuse perpendicular we are having the a b okay is equal to a b and hypotenuse we are having what d upon 2 so we can write here that a b is equal to d upon 2 um, sine theta which is equation number 1 so if you are using this equation for the destructive interference as you guys all know this uh, diffraction is used for destructive so we are writing here for the destructive interference for minima we can also say that so if we talk about the part difference of the um, you can say that what the part difference okay so we can write the part difference of the destructive interference is this half of the lambda as you guys all know and a b is what this is the part difference so a b is equal to what d upon 2 so we can write it lambda by 2 is equal to a b is equal to d upon sine theta d upon 2 sine theta 2 with 2 cancel and we are having the lambda is equal to d sine theta so this is what this is the wavelength of destructive that we have taken as a 1 and 5 fifth ray okay this is and for further if we talk about for further for mth order which means for further like 2 6 3 7 2 6 3 6 3 7 for nth order so we will use a formula that is m lambda is equal to d sin theta as you guys all know this formula was of the constructive interference but here in single slit experiment it will use as a destructive interference why because of the phase changes <coughs> so you can write here that m is equal to d sin theta upon this lambda <coughs> m is what m is a minima d is a distance sine theta and the wavelength so m is directly proportional to the d which means that if the if the distance will be increased so the this one this one a uh, destructive will be increased and m is equal m is directly proportional to sine theta angle will be also increased okay and m is directly proportional to the this one okay so i think it's all know when the wavelength is less which means it's destructive when the wavelength is more which means it's constructive that's the common thing okay so these are the three things so the question can be asked that at what angle the destructive interference is maximum so we can write here 90 degree angle what 90 degree angle okay so if you talk about the constructive so that can be maximum on zero like what for example in destructive as you guys all know we are having the mth order like plus one one two three four in single slit experiment in single slit experiment for example i'm having this <coughs> okay so here you can see that here we are having a minus two minus one for example this is a zero one two so this if we talk about the zero that is for the constructive okay and this one two one two these all are for the destructive so which means they the, all the things are opposite okay just because of the phase changes the things which are for the construct constructive before it, now it is for the destructive so that was about today's video that we have discussed about a single slit experiment.